I have been on the advisory council, I don't know, over, <laughs> over a year, I guess. I joined the Member Experience Advisory Council in April. I found out about the council and applied and have been on it, and it's been one of the most rewarding and enriching experiences of my life. I have been receiving Medicaid, which is now Health First Colorado, for about 20 years now. I was formerly on um, Health First Colorado with the expansion of the um, Medicaid and the Affordable Care Act. And I was very grateful for that because I am one of those people that the old insurance model is uninsurable. My older sister has a disability, it's um, osteogenesis imperfecta, which is a brittle bone disease. Having health coverage was really important for her health specifically because we were in and out of the hospital all the time and she needed a lot of home care services. Things happened to me that made me realize um, the barriers that people get and how grateful I was to be able to receive the medical care that I needed at the time and realize how many people don't, still don't have access to that, a lot more do. So that interplay between those of us who are receiving services or have received services in the past and all these staff people who, you know, I know if I think about all the offices around me, they're out there doing their jobs, but then they walk in there and see what we're doing. And I, you know, we realize we're all trying to do the same thing. The doctors, patients, and all of my sister's providers, patients with our parents' language barrier, and the fact that health coverage that she had was enabled by Health First Colorado, which enabled her to stay healthy. Seeing how all of that worked together to help her is why I'm involved in this council. Because of my work on the council, I've been able to help people in the community that I wouldn't have been able to help before because I wouldn't have known what to do. And so when they've encountered difficulties and stuff, I I've been able to guide them and direct them, and um, so that's been really rewarding for me as well. You know, most of us don't get a chance to impact something on a whole statewide level, but now I get a chance to be on the end of it where it, that can be made better so people beyond me have a better experience. And it's been very touching and eye-opening to hear different people's experiences and stories. and. Um, it's inspired me to continue to try and do things above and beyond the council as well. That extra step that my sister's doctor took to help us access those resources really benefited her health. Being on the advisory council has been a, re a really great way for me to pay it forward with everything that Health First Colorado did for me and my family. I have a place and a platform to be heard and respected and human, humanized, and not feel like just another number. Well, again, it's called um, person-centered or based on a, a member's experience. And so we get to look at everything about the way the program interacts with us as members and treats us as a human being. I would have to say that I've gotten four far more out of the council than I feel like I've given. My name's Terry Carlin. I'm Mary Catherine Conger. Uh, I'm Anna and patient-centeredness changed my life. <laughs>